International Women's Day, and what better way to celebrate than to speak with one of the most influential women from our state. Maine U.S. Senator Susan Collins joined me for a conversation from Washington recently. Please note the following interview was recorded before it was announced Tuesday that Senator Collins' mother, Patricia Collins, had passed away at the age of 96. I started our conversation by asking the senator why she thinks this day is so important. It's an important day because it allows us to stop and recognize the contributions that women have made throughout our history. For too much of our history, however, those contributions were not recognized and celebrated. It's also critical because I hope that by highlighting the accomplishments of women throughout our history, we can inspire the girls who are growing up today and tell them that they truly can be whatever they want to be. Well, Senator, you've been in the U.S. Senate since 2006. How did you get interested in public service and, and did you have a woman who was maybe a, an inspiration for you? I would credit two women in my life uh, who were inspirations to me. The first is my own mother. Uh, when I was growing up, my mother was very involved in her church, her community, and in our state. And she was served as mayor of Caribou, my hometown. She was the first woman to chair the University of Maine System Board of Trustees. And she was head of the Catholic Charities Foundation of Maine. So right there at home, I was taught that you could make a difference and that you had no right to complain if you stayed on the sidelines. The second woman who was a great inspiration to me was former Senator Margaret Chase Smith, who represented Maine in the United States Senate the entire time that I was growing up. I met her when I was a senior in high school and I was selected to come to Washington on a special program. I'd never been to Washington, I'd never been on an airplane, and I'd never met a United States senator. Senator Smith spent a great deal of time talking to me, and she truly was inspirational. Uh, Senator Collins, talk about how important, not just on this day, but every day it is for girls and women uh, to uh, you know, uh, lift up other girls and women to support and inspire each other. I fully believe that role models are absolutely essential in raising aspirations and showing young girls that they can be whatever they want to be. I make a point of visiting schools all over the state, but particularly in our rural areas. And I tell the girls and boys that uh, if I can go from the halls of Caribou High School to the chambers of the United States Senate. I'm living proof that if you believe in yourself and work hard and persevere, no goal is out of reach for you. Yeah. What, what is the most pressing issue for, for women and girls right now, did you think? One of the uh, issues that I found in talking to young women who I'm trying to encourage to run for public office is that they lack confidence in themselves, that they still think that they're not quite ready. I have to tell you, I've talked to try to recruit male candidates as well, and I've never heard one of them say that he wasn't quite ready. So I think that we need to instill a, a can-do spirit and a sense of self-confidence in girls and young women. You've kind of uh, uh, talked about it a little bit, but any words of wisdom or advice for girls or women interested in politics or, or really any other leadership roles? I would tell them to go for it, to don't be afraid. Um, when I first ran for governor, it was 1994. I had never run for public office before. I won an eight-way Republican primary, but then got defeated in the general election. But I learned so much from that experience. And even if you fall short of your goal, Keep at it, keep, my dream was to serve the people of Maine in elective office. 
And I never let go of that dream. And it was hard. I took a lot of risks. Uh, I remember after my governor's race, I was absolutely flat, broke, and uninsured. And fortunately, went to work, had a great job at Hudson University in Bangor. And then when Bill Cohen, uh, the current senator, decided that he wasn't going to run again, an opportunity presented itself to me. And I'm so glad that I took advantage of that opportunity. So my advice to uh, girls growing up today is don't limit yourself. Don't be afraid to step forward and reach for the stars. Well, Senator Collins, we appreciate your time very much here on this International Women's Day. And uh, anyway, we thank you for your service, too. Thank you, Jeff.